we have collectively agreed to stop playing this year. We have realized that the future belongs to those who actually take up control of it. It belongs to the people who refuse to keep taking what life gives them and start creating. Because one of the things that I've started exploring is like mindset, like mind, the power of the mind. And let me tell you, I'm going to create an entirely different video talking about what your mind can really do and how much we are underestimating ourselves. But for this video, we are talking about how you can take active steps to make sure that at the end of 2024, you have a brand. Now, let me tell you a quick story. Everybody knows that I am building Enterprise and Heels. And we are working up to our conference 27th of July. If you are in Joss or its environs, Joss, Nigeria, make sure to come through because that gathering <laughs> is going to be something else. Now, while in the process of putting together a panelist, because we're bringing like speakers and our speaker is Financial Jennifer from Lagos. And we have a panelist from both Joss and Abuja coming in. Now, when we were building these panelists, we came up with a few names quite a short list, right? And we had to grade them and base whether or not they would make the panel by their personal brands. So it was, we know that you do have a business and your business may be profitable, but do people know you? If we put your name on the flyer, are people going to want to hear your story? And that brought me to really thinking about how personal branding is a non-negotiable if you are building a business. In modern day world, if you are in modern day entrepreneurship and you plan on getting into rooms, people are going to want to know what you're about before you get into the room, before you get invited into the room. Aside from that, now customers are more sophisticated. People that want to buy from you want to know about you. They want to know about your values. They want to know about what makes you tick. They want to know what you're doing outside of business. So building a personal brand is basically taking control of your narrative, telling your story before somebody else helps you tell it, telling what pushes you, your why is something that matters so much, especially because the current consumers are like Gen Z and millennials. So whatever it is that you have is probably Gen Z and millennials that are trying to get it. So they want to know about you, the person behind the brand. That's why building your personal brand is an absolute non-negotiable. Of course, there's also the revenue part of it. This is not a video trying to show you the power of a personal brand. I'm talking to the people that have already realized the power of a personal brand and want it for themselves. So if you're building your personal brand this year, right, 2024, things are not the same. I started operating in this space around 2019, ending 2019, 2020. And I can categorically tell you that it is not the same space. The way people were operating in 2020 is not how it is in 2024. Thankfully, this video is here to help you move in 2024 so that you won't be using 2020 strategies. So the first place that you want to start with is really what you're about. If you don't know what you're about, you cannot tell people what you're about. One of the questions that keeps popping up when I speak to new and upcoming personal brands is what do I talk about? What am I about in the first place? I have so many interests. What do I build my personal brand around? That's the first place you want to get clarity on. Now, I'll be the first person to tell you because I have gone through it that what you probably start with is not might not be what you will end with. I am like four to five pivots away from where I started from. And if you started this channel with me, you already know that. What I'm trying to say is when you're looking for this clarity to start with, don't overthink it, right? You want to put together your passions, your interests, your skills, where you want to make impact in the world truly, and then start from there. I have an upcoming webinar. It's called Unlock Your Magnetic Brand webinar, where we're going to be diving straight into how you're going to do this. It comes with a workbook and a Facebook group that's going to make sure you get the work done. It's free and the registration is in the description. So, but first of all, you want clarity on what you're going to be talking about, because here's the thing. Personal brand building has to do with content. You have to be communicating your ideas to people. You have so many ideas in the course of a day, you want to streamline it. You want to choose what you're going to be known for so that all of the things that you put out are going to be tailored towards that thing, are going to be directing people towards that thing, are going to be building your image as an expert in that place, as somebody who has interest in that place. This is why defining what you want to be about is the first step. Yes, 
make it happen try to deal with this the second step is to optimize your online presence the truth is everybody is online now and while i believe that personal brands existed even before like the digital space now the digital space is here and everybody is on it people are working remotely people are selling remotely people are building communities remotely so of course your personal brand has got to be in a space where people are operating which brings us to your online presence what is it going to be about where are you going to be posting what are you going to be saying when you post that what are people going to see now here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand your personal brand is an extension of you so whatever however clumsy or professional your online presence is that is going to be assumed that's how you are and that's how whatever services you're providing are have you ever gone to a website and clicked a link and it didn't work do you remember how frustrated you were that's kind of how it is now let's backtrack a little bit like i said 2024 customers and consumers are not the same as 2020. now in 2020 for example a link in bio was an amazing thing it was something that was spectacular people were excited about it right now in 2024 a link in bio is bare minimum if you're really operating in professional capacity i expect i the consumer that if you do have if you put out content right there's more somewhere it's an expectation whereas where we're coming from in the early days is like oh my god you have an email list wow or oh my god you have like a long form content or a podcast youtube channel wow that's not how it is in 2024 in 2024 there's expectancy because our sophistication has grown the public already knows these things they know that if you give me a freebie i'm on your list and so my getting the freebie in the first place is me expecting that you're going to send me emails i want those emails i'm agreeing to those emails so your online presence covers the entire client journey which is another thing that i'm going to be teaching in the unlock your magnetic brand webinar it goes like this when you find somebody on the explore page or instagram randomly pushes a reel to you and it's really something that gives you a tip that you've been looking for or that's very helpful or that is just speaking to you for the stage you are in life at the moment and you're like oh my god let me check this person's page out right sounds familiar you check this person's page and you like what you see you get you consume the content and you binge and all of that all right i'm okay with like the regular instagram stuff i want the i want the more i want the long form right i expect that you have a long form somewhere for me so you see it's gone from where the the social media content is enough to where now is no longer enough i know that if you're creating content you must have more so i go to your link and i'm checking do you even have a link in your bio if you do have a link do you have like a youtube channel i can binge a podcast a newsletter i can get on a website a blog there's got to be some sort of more right now if there is more that's great beyond that more i expect that getting into that more there's also like an inner community people now understand that outsiders like regular people get social media content and then there's like an inner community that gets emails right for example my inner community gets stories that don't even make it to social media i tell them my day-to-day -day, i show them my process i'm explaining the intricacies of building a brand that's what they get for being in my inner community right so you need to have an inner community as well so so far let's run it through right now you've got to have your online presence right social media and then when people find you on social media you've got to have a link in your bio after the link in your bio you've got to have some sort of email list a running email list that is a commitment to be sharing emails with them now in all of my programs i make sure that i give people email templates because i understand that starting from scratch is very very difficult um, I do have a group coaching program coming up in August. Yes, in August. So if you want details in the link as well. So um, you want to be sending out emails, right, to these people. If you are going the newsletter route, I'm going to be teaching that. If you're going the podcast route, we'll launch that. If you're going the YouTube route, fine with that. If you're going the blog route, there are options, right, as long as you just pick what your capacity can carry. So moving from that you have long form and then they're expecting to get on the email list after the email list then what <laughs> 
what you want to do now is have an offer there is always somebody who is done with the free stuff and wants the paid stuff they understand that there is a paywall that there is only so much you can do with free stuff so if you are trying to build a profitable brand in 2024 then you understand that you must have all of these things in place you must have so what is your offer now and with your offer you want to have like three tiers of offers you want to have like the low ticket the mid ticket the high ticket right and what is the difference so i expect that you'll have like maybe an ebook or a checklist or something that's not very expensive that i can get and start using immediately i don't need to talk to you for it i don't need to you know i just need to get it and start using it for myself this is called diy so it's basically something i can do myself right i'm not asking you for your time all you have to do is create it once and then get it running that's lower ticket then there's mid ticket which is like coaching like the group coaching or like a course or something so this is priced like moderately because for the group coaching the great thing about group coaching and why i love it is because i get to give my time but to a lot of people at once that way we can get the results without having like a ridiculously high price so the after that the higher tier is like a one-on-one -on -one or a full-blown service a one-on-one -on -one is is just me and you in the room if i'm spending two hours with you this week all of that two hours goes to you as opposed to group coaching if i'm doing two hours two hours could go to 10 20 people which will get the same result however some people don't like to be like in a group setting even though i love group settings i know that there are people that just want to do it themselves and alone in the room and that's fine so you also have like your high ticket offer that's like for people who want one-on-one -on -one coaching or for people who want it done for them so i do have an agency a personal branding agency for people who don't have the time to even learn how to do it themselves they just want my agency to do it for them we can handle that so you want these tiers now if you're a beginner i would tell you that you don't have to have all of these at once this took me five years to build so i wouldn't expect that you would have it immediately however that's why i'm doing what i'm doing that's why i'm doing the webinars and i'm doing the group coachings so that it can shorten your time i didn't have to spend five years doing it if i had somebody that i could relate to that was doing what i wanted to do i would have paid them <laughs> To shorten the time for me so that's what i'm doing now making sure that everybody that comes across me and understands that personal branding is the future of building and work and business gets a shortcut gets the templates gets the scripts gets the process the framework everything that i use for my one-on-one -on -one clients i share okay so if you are building your personal brand and you've been finding it so overwhelming then unlock your brand webinar is the first place to start if you get into unlock your magnetic brand webinar here's the process you sign up right and then you get an email from me in that email you get your workbook so that you have an idea of what we're going to be doing in the webinar and then you can follow along and like fill up your workbook as i'm teaching and then you get access to the facebook group where i'm going to be sharing even more resources right so these two are very important but then that puts you also on my email list where i share all of the many resources let me tell you my full-time job is literally coming online and sharing how to make your brand work how to make your personal brand profitable how to make sure you are seen in your space how to make you a key player in your industry so if you're just finding me welcome to the community my name is paula and i'm absolutely excited when women win so click the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and also set your notifications so that you can get any time I post a video. Join all of the communities. Follow me on Instagram. Join the podcast. The podcast is called She's the Brand Podcast. And again, more tips on how you can build your profitable brand, especially in 2024. So if you don't have all of these in place, don't be feeling bad right now. Just click the link below and join the unlock your magnetic brand webinar i will see you inside or next week or on the podcast feel free to share this video with anybody that would love this and needs help of course and you can share on your instagram and tag me at polapool.co thank you so much for watching this video cheers to building brands that speak for us bye